Good morning. Today, we'll take a simple little pipe fly. White and pink. Good colour combo. Um, pretty much three materials. We've got Gloss and Glint, it's a Deer Creek product. Bucktail, uses a frame. And then we've got, it's like Angelina fibre for the head. So, day the hooks I'm using. Sakuma Manta Extras, 6-0. It's a nice strong wire hook, they're cheap, they're sharp. They hook well. So the thread I'm using today is what I normally use. And it's Vivis 100 GSP in white. I always use white these days. If you want a different coloured head, you just colour it in with waterproof marker pens. So, start this off. Put a super glue on your thread down. A big part of this is white bucktail. So, got some really good quality bucktails just now from Steve Cooper, Cooper at Cook's Hill Fly Town. They're long, they're straight. They're just nice to work with. So, for a start, I'm going to lay down a base for my tail. So, taking it off the tip of the bucktail. Not wanting a lot. Catch it in. Okay. So, the glisten glint comes in many different colours. It comes in a huge hank. This is out of the bag. I've taken about six or eight flies off of this so far. So you get masses of material for the money. It's synthetic material so it doesn't hold water it sheds it very fast and it's got a nice little glint through it this one I think it's silver in here but you don't need a lot I'm just taking a little pinch off the, off the side what I'm going to do is I'm going to taper the ends both ends and I'm going to tie it in one third sticking out the back two thirds out the front I'm going to catch it in winding it forward And bring my thread back and then just fold everything back and tie over the top of it. There's your tail. So to stop this wrapping, because that'll when you cast that'll just tail wrap. I'm gonna use the bucktail and we're gonna roll it around the hook like a cage to protect the Synthetics. I'm going to take a wee bit more than I did the first bunch. I'm going to tie it in the same length. I'm going to, I'm going to take the long bits out. I'm going to roll this round my hook. Just making sure you're right round and I'm going to tidy everything up. And now that stops stops the synthetics wrapping around the hook. I'm going to wet finish. I'm going to coat everything with Rimmel 60 seconds. You don't need super glue at this stage. At least with, if it's just varnish, you can tie the front half of your fly before it's completely dry. So, back again the super glue. Zap a gap on the front half of your fly. And I'm what I'm, I was just putting one reverse tied bucktail on the front. But what I've found now is I've started to do two. So bring it down maybe a third of the way your hook. Get rid of the super glue, the excess. And back to your bucktail. So, I'm going to take quite a generous clump. Get rid of all your short bits, even your ends up. And I'm going to reverse tie this. Okay. So, catch it in three or four loose wraps. Push it down. Squeeze the sides. And tighten up. 
and that was a nice even spread round the hook. Trim your ends up and then fold it all back. You can do everything for this, the good old pen if you want. Just get everything back, bring your thread directly forward and over the top. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to push against this bucktail to create a dam to hold my bucktail back to the shape I want, the angle I want. And then I'm going to bring my thread forward a bit, probably halfway between the bucktail and the eye of the hook. I'm going to reverse tie another bit. Same amount again. This time I'm going to cut it short. So shorter than the first time. And I'm going to reverse tie this again. So three or four loose wraps. Squeeze it and turn it. Tighten down. Then fold this back as well. And that is given. It'll give you a lot more bulk. With a better profile. And when... You've had quite a few fish in these, it won't start snapping. That was a problem I had before, was after a few fish, the bucktail was starting to break and it would lose your profile, but it's not anymore. So now, what I'm going to do with this is, I'm going to take some of this. I'm going to pluck it out the hank. Okay, it's messy, can get messy. I'm going to snap it in half. I'm going to turn it in itself and I'm going to straighten all the fibres out just tapering the ends a bit and I'm going to tie this in upside down but I'm going to fold everything forward out the way I'm going to do exactly the same on the top but I'm just going to use a wee bit more Snap it, double over, uneven all your ends, tie it in again, right on top of the hook, and right up against the eye of your hook as well. So now, flip it back over, I'm going to get some more gloss. I'm going to reverse tie this as well, so not a lot. Uneven your ends, fold it in half, snip it. What I'm going to use this is to create my taper. So obviously when you started your fly, you had one third sticking at the back and then you folded it. So you've got the long part, the one third, and then this one's going to blend in again for the taper. I'm going to tie this upside down, reverse, reverse tied, flip it over, take some more, a wee bit more on the top, same again, exact same process, taper over in your hands, fold it over, so this time, I'm going to keep it longer this time, to create that taper, Come your ends straight. When I put this on the top, what I'm going to do is I'm going to push it down the sides. So it cloaks around it. So, there's a few wraps in. So what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to put a bit of super glue in my thread. Continue my wraps. And now, I'm going to fold everything back. So easy way with this. Put your scissors through it, and that spots it from the eye hook. Okay. And I bring my thread up through, and I hold that top bit back with my thread, and I pull the bottom bit round. So, split it round your hook, squeeze it all down, and then put some walking wraps in. And all this is doing is putting a kink in the material to force it back. 
and then wet finish. Right, now, what I do here is, I keep my fly up a wee bit, I pull everything back so I can see it. You can now use a cauterising tool or a lighter, just gets the stray bits away. And then I'm going to use some Deer Creek Fine Flex Resin. And this seals the threads and also holds the material back even more. I'm just going to put a little bit around the front. Just right round, over all your thread wraps, and this stuff really does soak in. So, I'm gonna give it a zap. This torch I'm using is the new USB rechargeable torch from Deer Creek. Awesome bit of kit, very powerful. The charge lasts forever. So, I've had it since half through December. And this is, I've only charged it twice. So, awesome bit of kit. That's a wide spread, you can pull it out and it localizes it. So, it just takes a mini USB charger. So, Android phones fits. So, that there is your basic shape. Nice profile on that. So, the only other thing we've got to do is stick a set of eyes on. So, again, I'm right into this UV stuff just now, especially at this time of year. So, use some of these eyes. These are 10 mil. The new Deer Creek ones. They're, um, oh, they show up bright in the water. So, all I do is take a couple of sticks in the back of my hand. Yeah. And the glue I use for this is just a Loctite, it's a gel super glue. Uh, I've been using this for years. I've not really had any issues with eyes falling off. Um, so how I work this is, I tilt my fly to the side. I turn my eye upside down. If I can get it unstuck from my finger. I put a decent amount of glue on. And I just land it where I want. I don't push it down. I just leave it sitting there just now. Do the same on the other side. Just have it sitting there. This glue does get messy until you handle it, until you can work out how to use it. And now I square my eyes up. Yeah. It's a nice, I don't push it too hard down, but I put enough glue on so it soaks right through the shank. So it um, takes a good hold of it. And I know these, I know when it's wet. It'll push all those fibres down, but I like it to sit nice. So, that there is a simple, basic, white and pink pipe fly. This time of year they're excellent. You can also change the covers. But, I don't know why. I think this colder water, pink and white, or pink and blue for me, is definitely working this now. So, Thanks for watching, watch out for my next video.